Hi there, today I'm at Bombardier meeting James O'Sullivan who is a graduate engineer. Over to James to answer some questions. Hi, my name is James O'Sullivan. Uh, I'm a vehicle engineering graduate working here at Bombardier Transportation. I then asked James what he's been getting up to since he started the job here. So I've been uh, working at Bombardier Transportation for about a year now and in this time I've covered uh, several different placements. Uh, I may as well go through them from the start. So the first one I looked at was in working in mass properties. So we have an area called specialists which focus on vehicle performance properties. Mass is one of them. Uh, you've also got aerodynamics, uh, thermodynamics, gauging, uh, bogey dynamics is another one that comes up often. And these uh, all fall together into the specialists. Now this is great for me as a learning perspective because it's a big list of all the parts on the train with their weights and where they go on the train so I gain a lot of learning through that. My second placement was on more towards the bid side of the rail industry. So as part of the rail industry, Bombardier has to bid for work. So large companies will come to us and say they want to buy some trains. Uh, if we win the bid, we get to build the trains. So uh, again, this is one of the trains we were lucky enough to bid and win at one point. My third placement was more of a project placement. So en engineering isn't all about the hard maths and the sitting in the, sitting in the room doing physics and calculations. I actually had to control time and management on a project. Things like deadlines and uh, ensuring engineers were able to complete their work on time, always being pressed for it. And it's very, very daunting at times. And finally, the current placement that I'm on is looking at operability of trains. So actually, once this train is in service, how do we use it and where do we use it? And how does the driver interact with it? Did you foresee yourself working with trains then or did that creep up on you? Well, I've always looked to do an engineering career. My dad was an engineer and it kind of fell in the family. Uh, I also was good at maths and physics at school and those were subjects that really appealed to me. So okay. I went to university and I actually did aerospace engineering and uh, I was looking for a job and Bombardier was one of the names that popped up at the time. So uh, I looked at the job and thought actually this is really for me. It's, it's got a design role, it's really interesting engineering and actually it's quite complicated as well. You like the complicated side of things? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. <laughs> you like a challenge. <laughs> What's been the most challenging part then so far? Uh, challenging part is honestly learning the process in engineering, so understanding how you actually get things done. It's, it's a lot easier when you're on your own, but actually organising 200 engineers to build a large scale project is quite complicated and they all have to align to a process. Yeah, keep everyone on the same page. Exactly, yeah. Same time, just getting to know the people as well, moving to a new area, hundreds of people to learn names and what they're like, <laughs> etc. Biggest challenge, learning everything. <laughs> oh yeah, well, especially on the first day. So one of the projects I've been lucky enough to work on is the Crossrail project. Now on the civil side of engineering, it's one of the largest projects in Europe, and we at Bombardier are fortunate enough to build the rolling stock. So. The total train length will be over 200 metres long and the Derby site has not had anywhere to uh, put the train for testing. So we've had to build this new, what we call V-Shop, in order to fit the train once it's built. I then was interested to know how you go about actually testing a train. We have two forms of testing, routine testing and type testing. Routine testing happens routinely as you'd expect. Uh, we do it to every car that comes off the production line. Type testing, however, happens in the design phase. And here what we're doing is testing our assumptions that we made during the design phase. Hopefully they pass the test and we can get them into service. Uh, one of the ways we do that is here we've got something called Train Zero. So one of the problems we've had previously is we can't test train software, but now we have a platform with which we can do. And all the, all the suppliers will bring along their parts, we'll assemble them together before we actually build the train and test them there. This is a train bogey and one of the things I find interesting about these is how they go around corners. Now they don't actually have any steering but what they do is they have a slight taper to the wheels here and as the train goes around the corners the, uh, the taper aligns with the tracks and allows it to turn as one circumference of the wheel is bigger than the other. Found a train skeleton, not seen one of these before. now in a uh, London Underground train. Uh, the most empty London Underground I think anyone will ever see. Never been in the driver's seat of a train before. 
don't know if I ever will be again either. So what's the best thing about working here then? Uh, best thing about working here is that I really enjoy the job that I do. I get to come here and make trains for a living. I mean, it's every five-year-old's dream.